friends, it's Michelle Miracle, back again with another no BS review of a subscription service. Today's review is about Pet Treater, and those of you who know me, or have been subject to the barrage of social media posts that I make about my cat, you know that I'm obsessed. It's the first, she's the first cat that I've had as an adult, and uh, I love her very much. I'm constantly trying to find ways to make her love me. We haven't quite gotten there yet, but um, I keep buying like toys and gifts and treats and stuff at the store, but then I found this subscription service that's called Pet Treater, and it's for dogs or cats. They have really cute stuff. They send you like a surprise bag every month, and it's $12.99 regular price, and I think for your first one, I think it's like $6.99 or something like that, but I'll put a discount code if you're interested. If you have a cat and if you're obsessed, you know, then you don't have to go to the store and drop like you know, 50 bucks all at once for all the cute things. You can just get like a sampling, $12.99. It's like a couple Starbucks, you know what I mean? So instead of spending it on calories, spend it on your kitten. Look at what a cute bag. Oh my God, it's so cute. Super, look how happy that cat is. Hey guys, I'm pretty happy about string. And the dog's just like, huh. <sighs> I'm dumb. Okay, so this month, I have no idea what's coming up. Um, they always send you like a, a thing to post your photos, and then you get a free item if you post your photos, which I haven't done yet. I don't know why. Oh, pet friendly road trip book you can order. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there's always like a sticker, which I never know what to do with, but they're always kind of funny. Mr. Meowgi, you guys. I mean, if I was in school, if I was like in school right now, I would put this on my book cover or my locker. I have no idea what to do with that. I can't put it on my car. Mr. Meowgi. <laughs> there was one that was like, um, I can't remember what it was. Some other punny thing last month. Ooh, a tea towel. This looks like it's for Michelle, not for Moosh. What does it say? Made from scratch. Shut up. That's funny. Look. Because sometimes I cook and then she comes into the kitchen and she watches me and it's like, huh. And she scratches me. Guys, this is, that's funny. That's funny. Ah. Or we could use it to wrap her up when we're trying to clip her nails because we've decided or we've discovered that that's the best way to get her to deal with us clipping her nails is to like burrito her in a blanket. Nima feeds her wet food like over here while I'm like digging her hand out and going beep, 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 beep with her with, you know, on the other side of her while she's distracted by delicious wet food. Anyway, um, that would be a great use for that. This is a wobble ball. Cat toy, wobble ball. Wobbles around, but doesn't roll away. She loves like little rolly things cause she can like bat them across the house and she runs like a crazy person. I think she's on a fair amount of cocaine. Got a little jingle to it. Then this one's gonna be fun. Ooh, designed to appeal to your cat's natural instincts. Cute. It's a little duck, little duck feather thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And there's always like a treat. Ooh, jerky chips. And all the treats are usually like organic, gluten-free, grain-free. Not always, but for the most part, they're like pretty healthy stuff that is pretty high priced in the pet store. And it gives you a good idea because you don't want to waste a lot of money on these treats and then she doesn't like them. So this has been a good way to like find something that she really likes and then, you know, buy the full size. This is Cheeky Chicken. Oh, I don't know if that means it's made from like chicken cheeks. Do chickens have cheeks? I don't know. She's already playing with something though. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is... Um, blah, 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 blah. Chicken, vitamin B, vitamin C, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, B6, folic acid, B12, biotin, pantothenic, pantothenic acid, taurine, and salt. 
I guess that's better than some. I don't know. Sounds like a lot of crap in there. Uh, anyway, U.S. made. But, yeah, it's pretty cute. Pretty cute stuff. There's like four or five things in here this month. Two toys and the little duck, which she's playing with. The tea towel, which is not typically. They don't usually put something in there for, like, the pet parents. But it's cute. I like it. And a sticker. And like I said, if you're interested, um, I will put the code in the comments. And then if you want to buy one for your cat or dog, no judgment, okay? I'm sick of people judging us for being obsessed with our animals. You know what I mean? Oh, come here, Moosh. Come here. Come here. She wants to play. Mooshy. Well, I was hoping she would make an appearance. Let's just be patient, everybody. Check your phone for a minute. Come here. Mushy, come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh. Want a treat? This is the universal sound for treat. Guys. She's gonna love this chicken treat. Have you ever met a cat that didn't like a treat? I always feel like, you know what, they're always gonna try it. Mushy, come here. <gasps> Ooh, these are big. That seems like a little too much. Huh. Well, this is my cat. Come here, Mush. Oh, oh. There you go. Does she like it? Does she like it? She's not sure what to do with it. It's like rather large. Here. I broke it off. I broke a little piece of it off. I give that to her. I guess if you're vegan, this would be gross. <laughs> so maybe don't be a vegan pet owner. Or just, I had a friend who was a vegan pet owner and then he just fed his animals like frozen meat, but like didn't really deal with it. Oh, she just took it. She took that big piece and she's like off. All right, guys. Well, the jury's in. The jury has come back with a verdict. Two thumbs up. Pet treater. Bye.